we are in Sorota right now. So this uh, road that goes down that takes you to Lira and to Kagara Maido. Yes, if you take that road, then on this left hand side, yes, this is the main road, takes you to Mbale and to the city of Soroti. So guys, uh, I happen to lodge at uh, one of the guest houses it's located inside the church, uh, Church of Uganda. Yes, uh, what I can say the the accommodation here is really good. Yes, it's really good, though it's not self-contained. Yeah, but then I love the place. Uh, so guys, this is the church. It's under construction. Yeah, and um, it's really been a while without posting on my channel. And let's kick off 2024 with this beautiful vlog of uh, Soroti. Soroti is located in uh, the eastern part of Uganda. Yes, uh, yeah. Soroti has the biggest flying school in Uganda. Yes, followed by Kajansi Flying School located in Kampala. Yes, guys. So, guys, this is the accommodation that uh, I was uh, staying for the days I was in Soroti. As you can see, that's the church. It's almost uh, in the final stages. Yes, so let me take you through where I slept so that when you come here, you just know you have to find accommodation yes so these accommodations are very good as you see the rooms on both sides those are the rooms yes then let's first go straight to the restrooms call it washrooms yes and you see how neat they are yes so these are the washrooms yes they're very clean actually they're always clean 24 7 they're always clean yes you can see for yourself and um, this accommodation is really amazing being that it is inside the church the security is really very good the way you leave your things is the way you find your things yes so i really recommend anyone who's coming to soroti and you don't know where to find accommodation come to church of uganda there it's inside this accommodation is inside the church yes inside the church premises just come inside move straight to the reception and the tower will give you details yeah these are the toilets you can see though the tile is a bit old but it's really clean it's always clean yeah it's just the tiles that will need maybe to be changed and all that but yeah i can say i can recommend this this place for anyone who's looking for where to uh, maybe to lodge for a night two or three weeks if you're in Soroti here yes guys uh, so for the rooms like we are going to look at the rooms uh, for the rooms when you enter inside you will always find two beds uh, they say that why they put two beds because those days there are a lot of uh, missionary is it missionary work going on this side so people could come in groups eh, and they would prefer to sleep together share the rooms yeah so you can see there are two beds uh but then what i like to this place that you still pay if you're alone no one will be brought to occupy the other bed yes if you come alone you take one bed you use one bed you don't use the other bed and you pay fifteen thousand yes it's fifteen thousand for a night but then if you want to share the room with your colleague you sleep on this one he sleeps on the other bed still you have to pay 15 15 so that makes it 30. yes but if you're alone you pay 15 and you use only one bed yes guys so with the electricity i was really that, uh, satisfied with it the electricity was here 24 7. it never went for the days i spent here and the surrounding were just amazing yes guys uh so let's let me take you guys around soroti town let's go let's go and have a Let's go and have a walk in Soroti town and see really how Soroti is, uh, what we expect. Uh, but I can say, to what I've seen, I really love this place. I fell in, I've fallen in love with Soroti. Yes, as you know me, I really do love places that are busy. Yes, and then secondly, places that have food, a variety of food. You have a lot of options, okay? So guys, 
let's have a walk let's go and have a walk around Soroti town and just see how Soroti is uh, for those who have been here and you have maybe taken a very long time without coming back to Soroti you can get to see what has changed and yeah and for those who miss their hometown get a chance and have a look at Soroti yes on your phone through my YouTube vlog yeah so Soroti I just loved Soroti though now it is uh, kind of hot yes the sunshine is really too much this side but then you can say it's it's favorable yeah you can stay you can stay here so from church where I'm having my accommodation I moved straight uh, towards the town and uh, then on my on my right we have we have a park yes we have a park there uh, I think people go people sit there maybe past time yeah but then bananas are actually everywhere I was so surprised to find that bananas are this side eh? and at a very good 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 price yes so guys let's enjoy this vlog uh let's enjoy sorot actually sorot is a city as well yes it's a city so this is soroti city yes and i also came i also had to visit the market yeah they also have a really beautiful market actually i've moved in different districts that is uh, gulu kitigum i was in arua i've been to tororo i've been to uh where 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 i've been in quite a number mbale i've been to quite a number of districts actually barara uh but when you compare the markets uh the, the rest seem to be bigger than this one but then the finishing yes the finishing of sorority of sorority market is really amazing yes i really loved it i loved the the finishing of that market and the design yes so guys we are in sorority 2024 this is how sorority looks like yes border borders are there you want the one for the bikes or bicycle they're all there yes guys so let's have a vlog let's have a um, let's have a vlog around sorority Ciao, guys. enjoy this vlog guys and before we continue those who are new to this youtube channel please consider hitting the subscribe button don't forget to share like comment yes guys let's enjoy this vlog <laughs>
street of uh, Soroti yes so on the other side behind the other road takes you to Kaberamaido and uh, Lira then where this truck is coming from uh, it takes you to Mbale, Tororo, Kampala you take that route yes so I happen to take this vlog on a Sunday morning uh, that's why you see some shops are closed yes I believe uh, some of them are Christians and on Sundays that's when they take their day off they have to go to church yes and have some time for themselves as well stay home with the family you know yeah so guys uh, this road we're going to have a walk all through to the other side where the market is uh, the market actually it's being constructed into two there is one that's already done and people already there business is already going on yes in the first market then there's the second one uh, on the other side of the road they're just opposite yes so the one that's not yet completed yeah that one they say it will only deal with produce only produce yes which is really a good thing so that if you know you are going to look for only produce you know where to go yes so guys i loved i just loved this uh this place though today it's not that busy yeah being a sunday i i understand yes being a sunday it's not that busy but the rest of the days that i was here wow this place was so busy business is booming you know yeah so guys uh let's enjoy this vlog uh let's enjoy soroti city this is soroti city yeah i can say it's neat it's lovely it's very beautiful yeah, for those who haven't yet visited this place, you can come, you can come by, pass by, visit Soroti. Yes, come and have that tour. Come and enjoy the eastern part of Uganda. Yes, I can say it's really amazing. Yeah, it's really amazing. Yeah.
So guys, as you see, uh, on my right, that's the market I was talking about. Just look at the finishing. Yeah, just look at the design. Eh? It's really beautiful. It makes this market so, so beautiful. Yeah, compared to the rest of the markets in uh, in the cities of, uh, of Uganda. Yeah, you find all of the rest of the markets, like they have the same kind of finishing. Yes, they have the same kind of finishing. But this one, specifically, it's the finishing is quite different. Yeah, that's why I really liked it. Yeah, uh, though the size, it seems a bit smaller than the rest of the markets. But that one I'm yet to confirm. I think I'll get some time and also enter inside the market. Yes, and do some vlog as well inside the market. So as you see on my left hand side, this is the other part of the market. Yes, where you're seeing that, uh, that's called Mabati, eh? kind of a fence eh? around. So that's this side, they'll only be dealing in produce. <laughs> How are you? Now, where are you heading to? I'm moving around. Hey. I just asked from prayers to ask if I move around. Hey. Yeah. Okay. You're doing some shopping. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you're trying to move around? Yeah, I'm ready to move around. Oh, you're going for break the other side? Yeah, I already had breakfast. Hey. Yeah, you're ready. going to the road? I want to first move and see where this road goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 